It, yeah, Chelsea, that's interesting because who would have thought that fireworks are beautiful to look at, but uh, you know, who would have thought that it could you know create smog in the area? Thankfully, we are not seeing any of uh, the smog in our area today. Skies look pretty good. Yeah, right now it looks good. We had a few morning rain showers. Now mm. we just have some of that broken cloud cover mm -hmm. allowing us to still enjoy a little bit of that sunshine. Yeah, we still could see a rain shower later this afternoon, maybe a thunderstorm, but I think most will stay dry and that is due to a cold front that's still sitting and hanging out in our area. So as we look downtown Indianapolis with a broken cloud cover, currently it's 81 degrees dew points in those upper 60s, so feeling pretty sticky out there and creating a heat index of 84 winds are currently out of the west northwest 11 miles per hour that is at the Indianapolis airport because the cold front is a little bit farther to the east allowing for those winds to change out of the west northwest so a little bit farther north tapping into those more northwesterly winds 77 in Kokomo 78 in Lafayette and the 80s were still a little bit farther south of that cold front currently 83 in Shelbyville 81 one in Columbus, 82 if for you in Bedford. Live Doppler 13 currently were pretty quiet. Starting to see maybe a shower starting to develop near Richmond, but most of those showers and thunderstorms off to our east at this time. But with this cold front, additional pop up thunderstorms will be possible, mainly east of Indianapolis, which future track 13 shows those isolated thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and even into the evening. But you see it's going to be very isolated. Most will stay dry. Otherwise, we're just going to have partly cloudy skies. So for the rest of the day, it's going to be pretty seasonable with a high right around 85 pop up thunderstorms possible. Seven o'clock lower 80s and then into the 70s around 10 p.m. tonight and tomorrow we will start off in those 60s. We're going to get to enjoy some of that sunshine as well, especially for the first half of the day. High temperatures in those low to middle 80s. A little bit more of that cloud cover starts to build in for the evening. It's also going to be less humid behind that cold front. So a slight break. You're going to see that muggy meter drop as we go throughout the day tomorrow as we have a little bit more of those drier, drier air out of the north. So most of the day tomorrow pretty pleasant, but then we're going to have that humidity start to move back in as we head into the evening and into the weekend. So this is the reason why high pressure system moves in behind that cold front. And then as we roll into the evening hours, really after nine o'clock, we'll start to see a warm front push additional rain showers and thunderstorms into our area for the overnight hours. And then this storm system brings additional showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Saturday. So seven day forecast high of 85 today, 84 tomorrow, less humid with sunshine, chance for rain and thunderstorms throughout the weekend.